hosting tonight's new show, Kate Gott. Reporting off the coast of South Africa, Maggie Clip. Reporting from the jungles of Indonesia, Sam Cooper. And reporting from the Arctic Circle, Taylor Shonda. Tonight, we have an exciting show for you where we travel into the great depths of the sea and the jungles of Indonesia. Get lost in the freezing snow with Taylor, get wet in the sea with Maggie, and even get hot and sweaty in the jungle with Sam. Now it's time to send you off. Maggie, how's the water? This is Maggie Clip reporting for Channel 4 News. I'm reporting here from South Africa, and I'm surrounded by a huge gaggle of sharks over here, and they are swimming far closer to me than I am comfortable with. I do have some interesting, interesting things to tell you, though, about these creatures of the deep. For example, sharks have the same kind of heart that humans do, with four separate chambers. Maybe they're more like us than I thought. Whale sharks may be one of the largest living creatures, long, longest living creatures on Earth, living up to 150 years. They are also the largest species of shark of them all. The smallest shark is the dwarf shark. It is about four inches long on average. You can measure that on a ruler. And then, in 1976, on a Navy ship, they discover the rarest shark of all, the mega mouth shark. Blue sharks are the fastest shark, getting up to 40, 43 miles per hour in a short burst. That's much faster than the fastest human on Earth. Sharks don't chew their food like we do. They swallow it whole or rip it apart until it fits in their mouth. That's gross. Hammerhead sharks have the best sense of smell, though. Makes sense, considering how big his nose is compared to the other sharks. But did you know that pigs kill more people every year than sharks do? I thought they were just messy farm animals. Baby sharks are called pups and can take care of themselves as soon as they're born. Can you imagine a human baby trying to take care of itself when it's brand new? Sharks can also smell a drop of blood in a million drops of water. Back to you, Kate. Wow, Maggie, how'd you last so long underwater? Those sharks sure are some interesting creatures. Now, off to Taylor to explore the great unknown. I'm Taylor Shonda and we're here in the Arctic Circle. Behind me you can see a fine example of the polar bear which is becoming harder and harder to find due to hunting causing population numbers to decline. This one is fully grown as you can see. He is very large. They can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Polar bears love to eat seal and can live off the fat reserves for long periods of time when hunting conditions aren't ideal. Although polar bears look much like Kodiak bears, they have a few unique features that they develop to survive in such cold conditions. Polar bears are, have large furry feet with short sharp claws so they can walk with icing conditions. They can keep warm by insulating blubber that along with their fur allows them to survive. Polar bears actually overheat with temperatures over 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That blubber along with its large paws allows it to float and swim very well. Mother polar bears are known to be very protective of their cubs and look after them for cubs first two and a half years of life. Polar bear cubs are typically helpless in their infancy and they don't have the size or strength to hunt and are preyed upon by foxes and other arctic predatory species. These bears typically live up to 25 years until they are too old and too slow to hunt, generally dying from starvation because of it. Lately human conditions have affected the habit of polar bears while numerous preservation efforts are being made to protect the polar bears. Climate change along with hunting have hindered the population's ability to grow. Back to you Kate. Burr, the Arctic Circle sure looks like a cold place. All right, mateys, now it's off to the jungle with good old Sam. Hey guys, I'm here in the jungles of Indonesia with two great Sumerian tigers, as you can see here. Now these tigers can reach up to 11 feet and 660 pounds when fully grown. Unfortunately, only about half of tiger cubs live past two years. Cubs that do reach maturity will leave their mothers around that two year mark. Now these creatures are very dangerous, especially at night, which is when they do most of their hunting. Tigers are also very good swimmers and can cover up to 6 kilometers at a time. These extremely athletic cre creatures are also capable of jumping 5 meters in a single leap, which is over 16 feet. Now I gotta get going before one of these magnificent creatures gets a hold of me. Back to you, Kate. All these animals and not enough time. People, if this wasn't enough for your adventurous heart, tune in next week for even more animal fun.